Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 2023 Delaterra LE 375BHLE. This is a small bunkhouse floor plan with one slide out. We're going to take a minute, run you through the inside and outside real quick. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Delaterra 175 BHLE here. We're going to spin through here, kind of show you real quick what this thing looks like. So as you've seen on the floor plan up there, this basically has a flip down queen bed in the front and bunks in the rear. So let's start back here in the back section. So starting up top here, got some USB charger ports there. Have a little crank up roof vent up here, light up here. Down below we have a window, and that window does open. Light and USB charger ports as well. And then down below, quite a bit of storage below the bunk area. Looks like an access panel there to probably get to your water heater, which is also located on the rear. Over here we have our bathroom area. So there is a crank up vent fan there, ABS tub surround, pull across curtain, basically a step in shower. You have foot flush toilet, a little bit of storage there under your sink area, decent amount of counter space, and medicine cabinet area. So for a small unit, fairly decent bathroom size. Digital thermostat here for your AC and your propane furnace. Looks like they're currently using a GE AC. And then you have cable and satellite outlets, uh, your TV antenna booster button here, electric outlet and a backer in the wall so you could do your small TV up here. On the slide out is a U-shaped dinette. So this dinette will fall down, make into a bed and there's also some storage underneath. You have to lift up the seats to do so. Some more USB charger ports over there as well. It is all vinyl floor in here. Now your little kitchen area here, you do have the Everchill 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator some cabinet space and drawer space down below as well. Electric box with the breakers and fuses and your furnace down here. Another electric outlet there. A little hot and cold sink area there. Two burner gas stove top. And then you have your Greystone microwave. Now just kind of looking up at our ceiling here, you can see our AC. Again, GEAC they're currently using. And then you have a crank up roof vent in here as well smoke detector here and then you also have that uh, WineGuard 360 plus antenna which is pre-wired and set up for a gateway connect you can buy aftermarket and put on here and then subscribe to like AT&T or Verizon internet service so if that interests you consider doing that as well here we have our little control panel and it has our awning button slide button uh, LED light for the awning, interior lights, your monitor panels for your holding tanks, water heater gas button, and your water pump. This one was also ordered with the solar package, so you do have a solar charge controller here as well, kind of regulating what's going on there. It's a pretty cool setup here. Now I want to show you how this uh, little bed works for your main bed area here. We'll set down the camera and show you what this looks like. Pretty easy to do. This just folds down. A couple little latches here to pull. And this just flips down and flips out. So pretty little simple setup when you are ready to go to bed. There is electric outlet down there, USB charger port, and then you have a pretty good size 
pretty deep hanging closet there as well. All right, I'm gonna run you through the outside real quick and then we're gonna come back in and close it up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Delaterra 175 BHLE here. And starting here on the door side real quick, first things up, we have an aluminum exterior, wood frame construction. This unit is a single axle unit. You have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV. You have adjustable arms on the awning for tilting for water runoff and a manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. There is a pass-through storage compartment here on the front. couple little handles there you have stabilizer jacks down here there's four stabilizer jacks one on each corner and then you have a triple entrance step with the aluminum tread plate large folding entry handle furnace exhaust out right here there is a cable outlet and an electric outlet here in case you want to put a TV there black tank flush to clean out the toilet system you do have tented windows just down below here is a gas line hookup, so you could plug in a portable grill if you wanted. And then you have hot and cold outside utility shower right there as well. It is easy lube hubs and drum brakes on your axle. On around to the back side here in the lower right corner, you have your six gallon water heater. City water inlet is right there spare tire mounted to your four inch square tube bumper there is a ladder mount up there if you want to buy the lippert stow and go ladder aftermarket it's already braced for it right there and it's basically a telescoping ladder you can buy to allow you to get up onto the roof in the top center there it is also prepped for the rear furion observation camera nice camera to consider adding allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're traveling down the road or backing into a campsite. Down here you have low point water drains and your gray and black tank dump also. Pull the black first, get the nasty out, pull the gray next, clean out your hose. And then right there is where your power cord pulls out. The slide out on the unit is pre-prepped for a Sol Air slide topper. So that's a nice feature to consider adding as well. That will allow you to have an awning that rolls in and out with your slide out, basically kind of help shading the room, repelling a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, things like that. And then just underneath the front section down here is your freshwater tank drain down there. Cable inlet and your gravity fill fresh water tank is right here. Other side of your storage compartment area here. Now here we have some very, very important informational stickers. We're gonna pop these up for you here real quick. The very first one popping up is your main production data sticker, which has your production date, VIN number, axle size, but most importantly here, gross vehicle weight. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, which tells you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the assembly line and also has the length on it. Next is your tire sticker here, basically telling you tire size, but most importantly, cold tire pressure. Make sure you check your tire pressure. And last but not least, cargo carrying capacity sticker, basically just telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed the gross weight on the first sticker. Now you can see the front is pretty rolled back, so it does have kind of a nice slope to it. Just trying to help make it a little more aerodynamic going down the road compared to the old traditional flat front versions. Lower diamond plate metal here. You have a battery disconnect down here. Room for one or two batteries, depending on the size of the battery you go with. Single 20 pound propane tank with a regulator built on there. Power tongue jack with a light built in manual override, uh, heavy duty safety chains, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, and you also have a uh, seven way Bartman wiring plug for your lighting and everything. Also very important, make sure you have a brake controller 
in your tow vehicle to control the brakes on your axle. Also, they are using, you can kind of see the uh, little black thing up there on the top of the roof. That is the Weingard Air 360 TV antenna. And then you have your AC up there, some plumbing stack vents, things like that. And then if you get the solar package, you'd have a solar panel up there as well. All right, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna close this thing up for you real quick. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we're back on the inside of the brand new 2023 Delaterra 175 BH model here. And I just wanna show you what it looks like closed up as well. Um, so when you are ready to close it up, you have to come back in here to your control panel, just inside the door and hit the button to bring it in. So just to, to kind of get you an idea here, I always get the questions on some of these smaller models with these fold out beds, can you use the bed with the slide closed? And the answer on this one is yes. So all you gotta do is hit the button to bring it in. So if you're stopping at a rest area or Walmart parking lot or grocery store, wherever you might be stopping, you could technically come in here and you know sleep in your main bed, squeeze back to the bunk and bath area and not have to open the slide. Obviously, if you got room, you're gonna to wanna to open the slide, but you could use it without doing so if needed. So coming on back here, I got plenty of room to get to my bunks. I can still get to my bathroom. You know, I could turn on my furnace on a cold fall night if I needed to, running it off battery power and propane. I could load my refrigerator, throw my groceries and stuff in here. So I don't have to really open it just to use it. And then when you're ready to go back out, same thing. Just hit the button, take it right on back out. Very, very important when you are opening and closing your slides, make sure nothing's in the way. You don't want to accidentally run into an electric pole or water pole or something at the campsite. Um, you know, kids toys in here or something, you don't want to run something over and damage the linoleum floor or anything like that but overall pretty quick and easy thing to open and close thanks again for taking the time to watch my rv videos guys really do appreciate it please be sure to check out the folks at couches rv nation thanks again